Welcome to this voice annotated presentation on Attention Deficit in Hyperkinetic Disorder, ADHD. This presentation is authored by Melvin Chang, a Year 2 Psychiatry resident from the National Healthcare Group. Today, the learning objectives will focus on understanding the prevalence of ADHD, understanding the diagnostic criteria for ADHD, understanding the basic management guidelines, as well as understanding the prognosis of ADHD. Outline. We'll take a look at the epidemiology, the diagnostic criteria for ADHD. We consider the comorbidities to think about. We talk about the non-pharmacological management guidelines as well as the pharmacological treatment guidelines. And finally, we'll take a look at the prognosis. Epidemiology. There's an estimated of a 3 to 7% of school aged children in the US which is afflicted by ADHD. From the Ontario Child Health Study, an estimated 6.3% of children are afflicted with ADHD. The most common diagnosis ADHD is between the age of 4 to 11 and conduct disorder between the age of 12 to 16. It affects 4% of adults in the United States population. Gender ratio, it affects 3 boys is to 1 girl and approaches 1 is to 1 ratio in adulthood. Cross-cultural differences in the prevalence rate related to differences in normal culture, diagnostic decision processes, and cultural variation in perception of disruptive childhood behavior may account for the difference in the prevalence. Diagnostic criteria from the DSM-5 it consists of either A1 or A2. In A1, okay, we have the in attention in which six or more of the following symptoms must have persisted for six months to a degree that is inconsistent with the developmental level that impacts significantly on social and academic occupational activities. And the criteria are listed as shown. A2 is largely consistent of hyperactivity and impulsivity. Six or more of the following symptoms must have been persistent for six months to a degree that is inconsistent with the developmental level and that impact directly on social and academic occupational activities. The following criteria are shown for hyperactivity and impulsivity. In addition, the DSM-5 also specified that okay, there must be severe inattentive or hyperactivity impulsive symptoms that were present before the age of 12. Criteria for the disorder are met in two or more settings, which means at home, in school or work, with friends or relatives, or in other activities. There must also be clear evidence that the symptoms interfere with or reduce the quality of social, academic, or occupational functioning. And the symptoms do not occur exclusively during the course of schizophrenia or any other psychotic disorder and are not better accounted for by another mental disorder, example, mood disorder, anxiety disorder, dissociative disorder, or another personality disorder. Further investigations which are required for the diagnosis of ADHD will include gathering information about behavior from the school and the home environment, administering a corner's performance test and corner rating skills for the teachers and the parents, arranging for direct school observation by a member of the child psychiatry team in school whom the child has not met before. There must be a necessary psychometric testing such as IQ assessment or academic assessment if there's any evidence of any intellectual disability. And there must be a, a physical examination, baseline height and weight measurement for the child. This is in consideration of the uh, necessity for the commencement of medication. Social investigations and engagement of medical social worker might be required if there are underlying social issues. Comorbidity. A local study, Lim reported that 18.5% of ADHD children in Singapore experience sleep disturbances related to medication, while another 13% reported daytime um, sedation and 5.5% actually reported insomnia. In other foreign studies, it's, it's well recognized that ADHD is directly linked to conduct disorder, depression, and anxiety, as well as substance abuse in adolescents. In terms of non-pharmacological management, we could focus on parent-child education program. We need to refer parents to educational programs to learn more about ADHD and its management and the coping strategy. In terms of behavioral therapy, positive reinforcement of positive behavior, including a reward system and phrases, 
the parents could consider using a star chart to promote positive behavior at home. Environmental modification might be necessary. Environmental modification aim at improving attention. Take for example, placing the child in front of the class, minimizing distraction, etc. Combination of behavioral therapy and medication is better than medication alone. In terms of management principle, we'll talk about the pharmacological management. There are two main kinds of medication, stimulants and non-stimulants. Before the commencement of stimulants or non-stimulants, we have to look for exercise syncope, breathlessness and other cardiovascular symptoms in the history. The first stimulant that we'll talk about is metafenidate. The pharmacodynamics is a dopamine reactive inhibitor and direct release of a dopamine. The other stu non-stimulant that we'll talk about is atomoxetin. The pharmacodynamic is a no adrenaline reactive inhibition. An indication for octomoxetin is uh, for children with ADHD with ticks and those with a high risk of misuse of metafenidate or poor response to metafenidate. In summary, ADHD is a relatively common among school children. Specific set of diagnostic criteria must be fulfilled prior to diagnosing a child with ADHD. There's a need for multiple sources of information prior to the formulation of a diagnosis. Current guidelines recommend both pharmacological and non-pharmacological management. In terms of prognosis, the attention deficit may improve in adolescents. Greater than 50% of adolescents improve in terms of the attention deficit. Many patients do not require medication when they get older. Although symptoms of hyperactivity often improve as the child grows older, inactive symptoms are likely to pers persist. Key references are as documented. Thank you.